Hello everyone, Mr. Kenora here, and today is day two of our Power Function Camp. Today we are going to be creating doodle pens. So a doodle pen is a version of an eccentric rotating mass vibration motor, or ERM for short. And essentially what they do is when the motor turns on and spins, we put a weight, an unbalanced weight or unbalanced mass... Uh, attached to the gear system and what this does is as it rotates the centripetal force of the rotation causes the whole uh, mechanism to wobble so we transfer that rotating that eccentric uh, movement into our pen and we get these cool little wobbly doodle pens so if you want to learn more about ERM uh, motors and how they work and how we use them in everyday life, like in washing machines and the thing that makes your cell phone vibrate when someone texts you. Uh, I highly recommend that you watch this video here from Precision Microdrives. They're the ones that make most of the eccentric motors that we use in our cell phones. So part one today, we're gonna build these two different versions of doodle pens. So there's version one and version two. Uh, I think you can build both of them uh, at the same time, but if there's any repeating parts, you might have to build one, test it, take it apart, and then build the second one. But you might be able to get away with building both of them. All right, if for whatever reason the building instruction PDFs don't work, you have these alternative building instruction links right here. So. Come up with a good test for each of the pens before you build the next version. So some things that you could measure are like how big are the circles, how easy or difficult was it to write with that, that pen. So talking about ergonomics too. So was it something that was easy to hold? Could we redesign it so that it's easier for humans to write with? And then don't forget to change the rotation of the motor. That's just the little switch on the battery pack either pushing it uh, one way or the other, and maybe going clockwise or counterclockwise was easier. So it's always great to test uh, both directions of motor rotation. For an extension today, we have sort of an easier challenge, which is modifying the rotating mass. So we have the, the basic rotating mass. What happens if you add more weight to it or what if you change the size of that arm what if you make it longer or shorter how does that affect the vibration how does it, that affect the amount of vibration and so you can modify it and then repeat the test here's just an example test that i did to give you some inspiration so i started with no rotating mass and then I kept adding on more and more pieces to create additional mass and additional length. So with no um, eccentricity, so no rotating mass, I could draw a pretty straight line. And then with the original from the building instructions, and then you can see I kept adding a little bit of distance so the arm becomes longer and it becomes heavier, and you can see the result of my test. So try to perform something similar to this. It can be your own test. You don't have to copy Mr. Knorr. Do whatever you want. And just remember to try to do the same test uh, each time with each new design or modification. So trying to repeat the process so you can see exactly what is causing any changes that you might observe. And then if you want a harder challenge, Come up and design your own doodle pen. There's a lot of versions on the internet that you can try to copy for inspiration. Um, you've seen how an eccentric uh, rotating mass motor works, so maybe you can even create your own. And don't feel like you have to be limited to just Lego. There's this cool doodle bot right here that uses a Pringle can and a, and a motor, and you could probably use the uh, Lego motor. On here so you can use non Lego parts too if you if you'd like I recommend checking out this YouTube video it's it's pretty good it talks about these scribble pens and how to create your own versions 
All right, and don't forget to share today. We want to know what you were able to create or what kind of tests you perform and what outcomes you observe. All right, I hope you have a wonderful day. Have fun.